In this video, we're going to take a look at the new get part number command for OpenBOM for SOLIDWORKS. So this command appears up here in the OpenBOM uh, user interface. So this, um, this command will fetch the next available part number and bring it to SOLIDWORKS and assign it to your SOLIDWORKS design, either a part or an assembly. It, um, it assumes, the command assumes that you have a catalog uh, created in OpenBOM and that you have part number set up turned on. And you can see here I have a catalog called driveline components. And if I add new items to it, we automatically generate the next, the next part number as defined by the part number sequence. So make sure you have that in place. Back in SOLIDWORKS, let's, um, let's use our OpenBOM settings to make sure that we specify the, uh, the catalog that we want to use. In my case, it's called driveline components. I'll set that up in the settings. And now I'm just going to open from my assembly, I'm going to open some part that I wish to get the next part number for. So from the open bomb uh, menu strip, I will click on the generate part number command and I'll get a dialogue. It says where do, you know, which catalog do I want to get the part number from? I certainly have some choices. And where do I want to put it in SOLIDWORKS? And there are three choices. They are within the configuration setting, which says use a value, a particular value for part number. It's the, the least common. Um, into a property called part number, which is the most common of what we're going to use now. Or into a configuration specific property, again, called part number, which is a less common. So I'm going to go ahead and put this new value right into a part number property and generate, click generate a new part number. Okay. So what we will see is we'll get a confirmation that says a part number you know, was generated for this particular part in this catalog. And that's exactly what we want. And if we now look in the properties, we'll see that there is a property called part number with a value that was just retrieved. Okay, that's exactly how we expect that to work. The, uh, the next uh, logical step with this would be once we have the part number uh, assigned, uh, we can either return back to our assembly and uh, and go ahead and make our uh, you know go through each one of our parts and let's say for example I'll do the same thing down here for this particular for the CV bearing if I was wanted to fetch a part number for that I would go ahead and generate a part number for that go through the same process I'm going to get it from driveline components I'm going to put it in the part number uh, property let's go ahead and generate that. And we can just confirm that by taking a look. Yeah, it looks like we got the next one. We could go through all of our parts and finish all of that out. And then in the end, we will simply generate the bomb using open bomb. And when we do, our new bill of material will have those part numbers that were retrieved right here from our part number catalog. So I could go ahead and, and uh, I could go back and finish the rest of these and have a nice set of sequential part numbers here. So I hope you found that, uh, hope you found that useful. That is the open bomb for SOLIDWORKS generate part number command.